Hey friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a week in an artist's studio. I'm Melissa Harrell, a landscape painter, and I'm so glad you're here. Thanks if you have already subscribed to my channel. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe so you can get all of my video updates. Adding more quality videos to my YouTube is a goal for me this year, so you will see more of me here. Now let's get this week started. In this video, you'll see me matting and framing original landscape paintings from my recent sold out collection and packing up print orders. So these are my small landscapes that um, I recently sold during a collection release of my first of the year. And you can see I'm spending so much time cleaning up the frames and making sure there's no dust and specks. And I do this over and over, it seems like. <laughs> uh, matting and framing is a little bit tedious, but I do love the methodical work of it. I love taking the time to give my collectors a really beautiful, framed original work of art. To mat and frame my small gouache paintings, I start by connecting the mat board to a backing board with archival tape. Next, with double-sided tape, I place the painting centered on the backing board. Most of the time goes into getting the dust specks and any other debris off of the glass. For some reason, I always have to do this several times, no matter how many times I clean the glass with a dust cloth. If you do handle a lot of framing or glass, I really suggest these. Um, I think these are anti-static gloves. They have grippers and the fingertips that are so great when working with glass. They are also a great help to keep the dust and fingerprints off the glass. And I can put a link in the description if you're interested. Now, if you'd like to download my mat and framing guide, I will have a link in the description box. So it's a new day in the studio. I have some beautiful print orders to do and a lot of my work is changing out paper rolls for my large format printer. I have the Epson P7000. It prints up to 24 inches wide and it is a dream machine. There are so many things I love about this printer. Maybe I'll share all those details in another video. Let me know in the comments if you would like to hear more. For my watercolor prints, I print on cold pressed watercolor paper. And for my acrylic paintings, they are printed on gorgeous canvas paper. So I will edit my image in Photoshop and do any other last minute edits that I need to do and then I will print them straight from Photoshop and it goes straight to my printer. Okay, now we get to trim one of the canvas prints. This is a marsh print and I love this trimmer. It is a necessity for me. We take great care in getting it very precise and it works so well.
I get to package up the beautiful original paintings that have sold. And I love this part. I love boxing up pretty brown packages for my collectors. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you've enjoyed this studio vlog. This is a week in my studio. I packaged up some original artwork and I packaged up some prints and I really love this work. I'm so grateful I get to do this and I'm so glad you were here to watch. Thanks so much.